Hey everyone and welcome to Overrated or Underrated and in today's episode we're going over home workout equipment. Jump rope. Jump rope I'm gonna say is underrated. Uh, I see Steph do <laughs> jump rope in CrossFit sometimes doing double unders and they look hard. I can do like one <laughs> uh, but you know a skipping rope is super cheap to buy. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to master but a great form of CV and uh, you know you can pick it up and do it pretty much anywhere. Peloton. Peloton. Pelotons are in my opinion overrated and a lot of these smart bikes are uh, they come with a high price tag um, and you have to pay a subscription on top. Uh, in my opinion I'd rather just get a normal bike <laughs> that'll be like a quarter of the price put a tv up watch my phone if i'm going to do something like that and follow along in a different way um i do think you know exercising from home and having a piece of yeah, cardio equipment at home is great however the price that comes with these pieces of equipment or these smart pieces of equipment is what makes the the equipment overrated for me it's, it's not going to happen at that price Swiss ball, Swiss balls are properly rated. You know, you can do a variety of different core exercises on a Swiss ball. Uh, they're really helpful for getting you to stretch or especially stretching your back out. So I think a Swiss ball, you know, to be in the gym for a long, long time now, uh, they take up a little bit of space in the house, in the home, uh, but again, can be a, an effective, effective piece of kit that you can have that you can do a variety of different exercises on and um, it's fairly cheap. Really? That sounds pretty good. Smart Hula Pro. I don't even know what this is. Let's, let's have a look. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna go with overrated. And that's, you know, just by watching the, the commercial there or the advert for it, you know, a lot of these things that are coming out, whether it was a waist trainer or a Smart Hula Pro, they're making out as if by doing that exercise, you can target belly fat or stomach fat. You know, you can see the lady like rubbing her stomach with a bit of sweat on as if like, oh, I've sweated in that area. I'm now going to lose fat off this area. I think that's not quite how it works. Um, if it's an enjoyable way to exercise for you, fantastic. But, you know, if you're gonna spend your time exercising and wanna exercise, I'd opt for something that's more enjoyable, that you're maybe not just doing because you believe it's gonna burn belly fat and is gonna be more effective. You're gonna get, you know, for the time you put in, you're gonna see a, a greater return on investment um, for, for whatever it is you're looking to achieve. I can't believe I just said ROI. In a <laughs> overrated, underrated. Uh, Pull up bar, oh, that's a tough one. You know, I'm gonna say a pull up bar is underrated because a pull up is such a fantastic exercise to do. And a lot of people just see it as an exercise that maybe they just can't do or should, or just won't ever be able to do. But you, I'm telling you, you can do a pull up. Most people could buy a pull up bar and you can buy a variety of different colored bands uh, that have different resistance on them. And if you just get, you know, that, that it's such a better exercise to do, to do a, uh, a pull up on a pull up bar with bands versus doing like the assisted machine, it gets you used to the pattern of movement. And then you can just start with a resistance band that works best for you and then just progress through that movement. So even if you're like, there's no chance in hell I could do a pull up, get a pull up bar, buy the, the strongest resistance band you need, get used to putting your knee in there or your foot, start doing some chin-ups, start getting some reps out and then start progressing through the resistance bands till you can do a chin-up or a pull-up on your own. Can't be that easy. Ankle weights. Ankle weights. You know, I'm gonna say ankle weights are properly rated. They barely take up any space in the home or the house. Uh, they're very, very cheap and you can add a little bit of extra resistance to some of the movements that you're doing. Um, I think they did used to get really pushed, you know, 10, 20 years ago and you'd see people just doing like 50 rep kickbacks with ankle weights on. Uh, yeah, you are gonna see some progress from that, but again, you probably, if you get into that point, you're probably better investing in something that's gonna be uh, be able to put the body under a little bit more resistance. Adjustable dumbbells. Adjustable dumbbells are underrated. You know, they can be quite expensive, but I would say they are a really good investment, especially if you're working out at home. If you are gonna get a set, I would definitely advise getting the ones where you can push a button in and then just like choose the dial to what weight you want instead of like the screw top ones where you're adding weights on and taking them off every time you wanna change the weight. Another reason, you know, adjustable dumbbells are just underrated is that there's, that you can literally make every exercise harder by just adding weight, adding a dumbbell. So there is just an endless list of progressions and regressions that you can use with dumbbells to get stronger in all parts of your body. Resistance. 
bands. Resistance bands are, in my opinion, wildly overrated. Everybody has pushed these for the past five years, the new booty bands, this, this and that. You know, I did say before for, you know, pull up, uh, for doing pull-ups, that resistance bands are actually, you know, really, really effective and really helpful for helping you progress towards something like a really difficult exercise, like a pull-up or a chin-up. But the way they get pushed online for, you know, putting them around your legs while you're doing squats or while you're doing kickbacks, um, it's just not making the movement that much more effective. You're much better using a TRX, a, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, and adding resistance in a different way or increasing the time on the tension. I think these, these, these bands get put on a pedestal sometimes that we feel like, oh, we're gonna use a band and it's gonna tone and sculpt this area so much more than if we just didn't add a, a, a different level of progressive overload. Bench. A bench. I'm gonna say a bench is properly rated. I think most people know if you've got a bench, you know, you can do a variety of different exercises on there, whether it's a, a split squat, which I know everybody hates, uh, all your chest pressing movements, your shoulder press movements, um, you know, you can do, you know, uh, dumbbell rows. There's so many movements that you can do with a bench. Uh, you can get some that fold down and flat if you want something that's a little bit better for storage. Uh, but I would say if you are gonna get a bench, definitely get one that's like sturdy and secure. The last thing that you wanna be doing is, is doing a movement and, and it slips and moves. So definitely, if you are gonna get one, invest in something that's quality. Like a, like a box, a box step? <laughs> like one of, like, a, like the Reebok box steps. So that's the ones I see in the gym. Yeah, a, a step, you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say it's underrated. You know, I think we got one, they were about 50 pounds. And uh, I've always put it as like a piece of workout equipment that I would definitely get for working out at home. Because you can just, with most leg exercises, you can increase the range of motion by using a step. Um, you can use it for a lot of dynamic movements as well. Uh, it's not the largest piece of equipment. They're quite easy to store. Uh, and like I said, it's just, it, you can take a lot of exercises um, and really change them up and add variety in just by having a step. Kettlebell. Kettlebells. You know, I'm gonna say kettlebells are properly rated. You see them in every gym nowadays. Do you see them in most people's homes? I think you're starting to see them pop up in a lot more people's homes. Uh, you know, they even sell them in bloody Aldi now. Steph keeps going, they've got kettlebells in Aldi. <laughs> As if like she's just gonna pick one up. But yeah, you know, you can do kettlebell swings, shoulder press, you can involve them in lots of different dynamic movements. You can just carry them. There's lots of different exercises that you can do for variety uh, with one small piece of equipment. So I'm gonna say kettlebells are properly rated. I don't even, right, this is Google again, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I don't know what it is. It, it obviously is a thing, but there's, we, we like things to shake us. <laughs> As if we just feel like things are gonna shake us and shake the fat off. Um, you know, I just had a look on Amazon, they were about 28 pounds. You're gonna get much more out of your money by buying like a dumbbell or a kettlebell or a TRX than purchasing something that you just feel is gonna shake and like the fat is gonna come off that area or it's gonna work or, or tone that area more. Um, there's been an obsession with loads of stuff like this over the years, whether it's power plates or what was that other thing that we used? The, the shake weight. Introducing the shake weight, a spring-loaded workout device you pump with your arms. Uh, I don't know what the obsession is, but I would stay far away from you know, 99% of that stuff. Uh, do what works, TRXs, adjustable dumbbells, kettlebells, add resistance in a different way. Do your compound exercises, you're gonna see so much more progress off doing that. So with that in mind, power spin, what is it? Power spin isometric 100. <laughs> it's overrated, it's just overrated. <laughs> So they're my opinions on your home exercise equipment. Do you agree? Let me know. Do you believe they are overrated or underrated? Let me know in the comments. And I'd love to know what's your favorite piece of home exercise equipment. If you enjoyed overrated, underrated, there'll be some more videos around here. Click them and we'll see you in the next video. The, resist the, the resistance. I, should go again, should I? I didn't know. I was just going to go through it, but I thought.